All right, we are back on Black Clover. Now, if you have not seen the first summon video, go watch it. And pretty much, it was awesome, okay? I can't lie. Like, I cannot complain. The amount of SSRs that we pulled in that video was genuinely insane. Like, it was crazy, like, back-to-back -back SSRs, and we pulled a lot of heat and stuff. No spoilers. Go watch it, but you will be spoiled here in just a second. So, spoiler warning. Go watch that first and then come back to this one. But, um, anyways, I grinded a lot. <laughs> I've been grinding this entire time, and unfortunately okay now if for those who did watch the video you know that i am only one copy off from max dupe and Mariliona. i get my universal dupe in like six days time i could not be asked to wait i could not be asked so i summoned this entire time off screen and i have not pulled a single Mariliona. legit this second rotation i have not pulled a single one so i am legit having to go to pity and getting my guaranteed Mariliona, which we are now doing live right now so yeah, it has not been the best. The second rotation absolutely demolished me. And free to play, I'm telling you, man, of course we get the dude. If I pull two and one, I'm actually gonna be pissed off because I don't need it. Like I'm legit gonna have an extra copy of Mariliona for no reason. Unless it's her skill page, I will I will absolutely take it 1000 percent But I figured why not? Let's just do this final multi with you guys. And then um Yeah, we're gonna go test it out and we're just gonna have fun in P uh, PvP, okay? Well, of course, of course. Is, dude is this another i just pulled the kyoto like the prior multi before recording that is crazy well the deed has been done um so let me go get max dude let me put on some gear for her and then we are gonna run it down in pvp we are gonna be taking the mono green as well in this video and then the video afterwards i will be taking a very unique team comp um one that i think a lot of players are gonna enjoy and it is actually very insanely meta so give me one second oh my i actually can't believe we went to pity we went to pity crazy all right, the deed has been done. Mariliona is max dupes. And so we are actually in event PvP because I forgot it is mono green only, which is fantastic for us. So we're going to take our max dupe Mariliona, as you guys can see here, max duped. Uh, Charlotte, which is obviously going to be the key to holding the team together with the barrier, the damage reduction, just etc. Just amazing overall. And then we are taking the free swimsuit, you know, that we got from event PvP a while ago. And then obviously Valtos for the not only magic attack increase, but the accuracy as well and the stamina. So I think this team is going to be quite good if you you want to run it now um i would honestly swap out real for you know but as you can see my my real is not built um longers is not bad either uh but i think a lot of people if you do want to run hatred fauna with this mono green team i think that would probably be the best option um just allowing merely on to especially if you have your max dupe then you can also let her be a sub dps but in reality hatred fauna would be amazing on this team just offering you the craziness that she does in terms of damage so if you want to run that you can but for now in this video at least we'll go ahead and rock this team and see how it does perform um i am gonna let merely gonna be our one and only dps so as you guys can see i mean we're gonna absolutely cook here no problem and my goal here is to low-key just go for one turn nuke if we can so depending on i think we do have the speed advantage on these guys as well which is going to be good for us but uh let me know in the comment section how were your summons and what team are you running Merleona on again you can run her on mono green which i do recommend you can also take her on a hybrid team with julius black Asta, witch queen uh which i will do as well so stay tuned but all right what do we want to do here so you know obviously Merleona is max tube so i do have that guaranteed ton on the highest all attack unit on their team which in this case is going to be licked good for us um so what do i want to do here i think so okay actually because we get to remove the barrier the only thing that they have is damage reduction so i'm actually just going to go ahead and give the magic attack and accuracy increase to merely yona for us and then we will then apply the extension of barriers the damage reduction just to kind of give us that protection and then you know what i'm low-key going to do here is we're going to apply the incapacitate we're going to apply the incapacitate now this is kind of really bad because Barrier. The barrier I don't have to worry about, but the damage reduction, this is going to come into play. And so I wonder how much damage Mariliona is actually going to do. Because uh, she might be able to cook. Ooh, you know what? Actually, it doesn't matter because you have immortality. I forgot. Uh, let's... What do we want to do here? Okay, let's just proc up the skill too. Let's proc up the skill too. We get to remove the barrier off a chosen enemy, which is going to be good for us. Uh, so let's take it off of mimosa yeah let's do that damage wise 101,000. you know what i i'm not mad at that i am absolutely not mad at that considering the fact that they have a crazy amount of damage reduction applied that is actually massive and so now as y'all can see the burn stacks are coming into play anytime that merleon is hit 
then it's just burn sacks for days, which I think is going to be good for us. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get the stamina increase for us. Taunt, that's fine. I can I can live with that. And then we'll go ahead and apply a plus two skill point for us. Increase all attack because I do have Sally's skill page applied. So it's helping out merely going over here. We'll go ahead and apply a physical attack reduction, which, I mean, doesn't really benefit us, but it is what it is. And then merely on. Okay, so let's... Low-key, I just get rid of Mimosa. I think that's probably going to be the best play for me. So that way, no heals, which can be quite annoying. Let's turn on the animation here. Let's see it. Um, I don't expect it to hit as hard because they only have one burn stack. Keep in mind that Merleon on her ultimate does have a 65% damage increase dealt for every burn stack that they are taking. So I believe the max is three burn stacks, which would end up being 190%, but they're only, well, it's unfortunately only one burn stack. So let's see it. Damage wise, I'm not sure if the skill page procs off or not. I believe ours is at a 70% chance to proc off. Um, 93,000, you know what? It's not crazy high, but I will take it. And because we did kill the ultimate, we do get another turn in, which is going to be good for us. So I'm going to go ahead and attack Charlotte. I mean, skill one damage. I'm not really worried about that. That, dude, that skill one having the guaranteed taunt is so good. It's so, so underrated. So yeah, I think even though it doesn't do damage or anything like that, having a guaranteed burn stack is by far just crazy good okay more burn stacks are being applied charlotte obviously giving a barrier to Meliona, which is really good i like it i like it i like it okay um so i think loki would just get rid of charlotte Sixteen thousand burn damage and another burn stack you gotta love it you gotta love it okay so we have the accuracy oh buff immunity that's that's super cringe okay so because we do have the skill page applied keep in mind that we are giving our entire team mana skin for two turns which is a 30 percent damage reduction and um, status ailment immunity, which I think is amazing to have. So AOE damage, 31,000, not the craziest, but hey, you know, I'll take it. Okay, poison, that's fine. And then we have Charlotte's ultimate the following turn, which is good. Okay, this should be pretty much a GG's, right? Burn sacks, cool. So I think Loki, the next time Link comes around, he's dead. Uh, but the immortality is into play, so that's the only thing that's, that does suck for us. Charlotte is dead no matter what by the time she comes around. Um, so let's kind of wear Rod is down. And then we'll do... Ooh, we have the combined attack, which does offer a AoE burn to the entire enemy team. So I like this a lot. And a barrier extension for us, which is massive. 98,000, by the way. Look at that. Look at that. So Licked is... Okay, Rod is out. Licked is pretty much dead, but Immortality is to play, so that does suck. Um... That I would just do that, burn stack, and that should be GG's, right? Yep, link comes out, and oh, there we go. All right, one and oh, it's mono green. Let's go. All right, next match, they are running Raya. Interesting. Okay, so I don't think everyone is summoned from Meliona, which is like completely understandable. It's crazy, dude, that we're already like May, and then I mean, not May, but April. Next month is May, half Annie with crazy times, but. Uh, yeah, I do hope we start getting information regarding who is going to be the half Annie, which mostly it's like 99% confirmed that it's going to be Valkyrie Naval, but once we get those like leaks and like quote unquote official confirmation, bro, it is actually going to be insane. Okay. Um, wow. It, the only thing that sucks about Meliona, and I said this multiple times is that she's hella slow. It's crazy that Mimosa actually managed to be slower than Momo uh, Meliona, but anyways, it is what it is. Okay. So let's uh i'm just gonna go get stamina increase here right i mean it's not really gonna matter for this first turn if i'm being honest with you but actually i was thinking a uh, low-key i kind of need to swap this around so what i'm gonna go do for the next match is swap volatiles and charlotte in terms of placement so that i can get off the uh combined burn attack which i think is going to be helpful but I was going to probably with the combined attack, but I, I desperately need Charlotte's ultimate. That damage reduction is just too important not to have. Okay, so let's do... Let's actually do this, right? So apply the physical attack reduction, because Raya is actually going to benefit for me. And then we'll do the combined attack here. Remove the barrier. 53,000, that's fine. I'll take it. Again, the damage reduction is just crazy broken. All right, hey, we take that. That's not too bad. 10k damage there. Barrier, that's fine. And then the heals are coming into play. Res is out. Fantastic. Uh, so now we'll go ahead and apply the magic attack and all that stuff. And then I'll go to ult as well. Do that. And then we'll apply the incapacitate. Ooh, this is going to be a really, really good, good hit. 
Yeah, it's gonna be a good hit from um from Mariliana. Okay, so we oh I'm taunted. You're lying. Dang it. Okay, so uh if I can get lucky and get the skill two reset, that's gonna be mad clutch, but I don't think I can. Okay, Rodis should be dead here. Right? Two burns, two stacks of burns. So we're gonna be doing a whopping uh 65 times two. That's gonna be what 130? Right, 130% damage increase, which is not too bad. And then, okay, so let's do let's do that. Hopefully, we kill. We should. We get to remove the barrier. The only thing that's going to be into play is the damage reduction, but pretty confident it should kill. Right, 157. That is amazing damage. I will take that. I will 1,000% take it. Okay, so let's. Uh, your barrier is kind of going down. 13.5k again. Taunt. That's really nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool wow you you do hit hard no cap okay uh tch, 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 what do i want to do honestly i should have taunted what's her face but that's fine heals that's okay all right so we need to get raya we need to get rid of raya for sure otherwise i think we are gonna die uh can we push you back yes reduce mobility that's massive we'll apply the aoe damage Thirty-two thousand. i'll take it not the highest but whatever chip damage we can get is gonna help us 45,000 burn stack. Nah, that's crazy. Dude, this is why you need this unit max tube. Like, right now, if I were to record this video, okay, without me doing my summons and everything, as y'all saw, I got the final copy. If I did not have her max dude, we would not be having these constant burn damage. Like, 50,000 burn damage? You're That's crazy. That's crazy. I would not be able to have that if I did not have that final dupe. So, this kind of goes to show you why Mariana is desperately needed at max dude because it's like the biggest world of difference because also it's like i low-key could have lost right because then raya would have been able to do his attack i mean given it probably would not have killed us but it still would have done a decent amount of damage but i mean obviously the burn came into play just completely one tapped him and then yeah it's like you win by by burn size you gotta love it you gotta love it all right let me swap Valtos and charlotte and then we'll do two more so we'll do one more with his team comp and then the last team we will take hatred fauna um just to show you guys you know the big main dps and then let merely want to play the sub dps all right in one second let me change the team comp all right team comp is set interesting they are running jack okay so you don't see jack in pvp obviously but i feel like for event pvp he would be a pretty good suitable unit um and then this vanessa can be good especially if they do have the right gear set and sub stats i believe she has to have a damage resistance of 210 or higher or 310 or higher i'm sorry all right so we are jack is taunted which is massive what i'm gonna go and do here is prog off the aoe here so let's see how much damage we do here we don't have any magic tag increase or any accuracy anything offense related but let's just see the damage here increased crit rate that's good i'll take that Ninety-five thousand burn stacks are coming into play that's actually massive i'll take it i will 1000 take that uh so yeah if you do want to run this because i know a lot of people in regular pvp like to have marilyn and will wow marilyn and william together so that way because william is the fastest unit in the game still so a lot of people like to do that just have that first turn um burn damage and all and it's quite broken mimosa is gone i mean not mimosa but uh vanessa is gone i love it and then marilyn oh wait i low-key could cook here i low-key could cook here um we remove the barrier off the of jack we kill 112 or 111 i'm sorry and then we do this i love it i love it mimosa is gonna res that's fine that's that's okay that's okay i'll take it uh we can come in and do the magic attack inaccuracy increase mimosa or not mimosa dude why am i messing up all these names charlotte we come in increase all attack and then i could push you back if i want to but let's apply the incapacitate and then merely yona We'll just finish you off. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just finish you off, dude. She's so good. She's so, so fun to use. 44,000 burn damage. Yeah, no one's doing burn damage like her. I'm sorry. <laughs> no one is. Uh, Taunt, that's a huge for us. Skill 2 heals. Oh, I could have attacked Mimosa. That she probably would have been dead. God, you are such a good unit, yet so annoying at the exact same time. Okay, let's just start wearing you down. But uh, the video after this, I will run, like I said, a pretty, pretty, really, like, not a pretty good, a really, really good team comp that does not involve mono green. Uh, but And I feel comfortable that you guys have these units as well. So if you want to run that team, stay tuned for the video after this one. All right, damage wise, 88,000, you're dead. Burn damage, uh, the burn damage should finish these two off, right? 
Okay, wait, wait, let's actually <laughs> let's actually let the burn damage take into effect, right? Burn damage? Uh okay, so no matter what. Oh, never mind, I did not kill. 12k and then Rod is well, GG's. Alright. Let's do one more. We're gonna take Hatrifana, right? Uh show you guys the double DPS power. But if you do want to let Rod in this team, this is great. Now, the only thing that is bad about this team in particular is you have to be aware that if you are facing up against a modern red team that does have red Duno, you know, then you are going to get Mary Luna's gonna gonna get negated, or it's gonna get shut down. So that's just something you have to take into account but again i feel like a lot of people will probably end up running double dps of some sort uh whether it's mono green or if it's a different team so that we can kind of let you know um attack that unit and then merely you know, can come in with their shenanigans so if you want to do it that way you can but i'm just letting y'all know so let's go ahead and swap out for hatred fauna here full bronze one dude i do not play event pvp <laughs> as you can see uh i'm gonna take out you know we're gonna put in where is she Hatred Fauna, and then let's go ahead and give her the gear set. But I feel like a lot of people are gonna run the you know burn team as well. I I will do a video with the burn team, so stay tuned. Uh, let's see gear sets. Cool. All right, let's do that. Perfect. And then let's see the powerhouse damage. I could bring in uh you know and then just completely one tap. Oh, this team we just completely destroy here. I don't even need you know. That's how broken Fauna is. It, again, she does not offer anything crazy. It's just she just has crazy damage. <laughs> That's the only thing. Um. Oh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna one turn nuke. Mariona might not even get a turn here. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. She might not even get a turn in. Wait, what does this do? Barrier. Uh. Wait, let's do this. Get an all attack increase. <laughs> And then prog off the ultimate. Wait, do we just completely one tap? If anything, the only unit that survives is Licked. That's the only thing because he has immortality. And Longers, I think, too, has it. But everyone else should be dead, right? And GG's. 263 into 299. I will. Real survived. That is wild. Burn damage. Uh, and GG's. Once these guys have their turn, then uh, it is a free big W for me. Stun? Who we get stunned from? Oh, real. I was like, wait, what? Where did that stun come from? That's fine. And cool. All right. Well, anyways, I think I'm going to end it here. We did like what four matches, easy dubs. Uh, for event PvP, this is gonna be a great team to run alongside the other one if you want to. I do recommend you do take real instead of oh, and perfect time change. So that's a good sign. But I do recommend you do take real instead of you know. I think that's gonna be a better team comp. But I'll go ahead and end it there. Let me know your thoughts. Take care. Peace.